Welcome to the Tennessee Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us this evening. Before we get started, just a few quick housekeeping items. Uh, the first is that attendees are welcome and encouraged to ask questions to any of the panelists at any time utilizing the Q&A feature. You can pose a question to a specific school or you can pose an open question to any and all of the panelists. Also, just a reminder that your camera and microphone are turned off so the panelists will not be able to see or hear you. And this is just one of several sessions being offered. So please feel free to sign up for additional sessions, the same website where you signed up for this session. And about one week from today, a recording of this session will be available on that same registration website. I'd like to go ahead and introduce our first presenter of the evening, which will be Bethel University. Hey there, my name is Stephen White. I'm a recruiter for Bethel University. We also have Miss Aubrey Rogers in. Aubrey, are you here right now? I am. Yes, she is. Wonderful. So we're both here today just kind of jumping back and forth with Bethel University. Um, I'll be sharing my screen today just to show a little bit about um, our website. That's the main thing that I like to reach out to uh, potential students or prospects of Bethel University is just to let you know how to access our website, how to get the information that you may need. So we're going to start there. All of our contact information, of course, is on this website, just like any other university. We are a small private Christian university with about 1,100 students on campus. So you're not looking at being overwhelmed or even overlooked and you're a name, not a number. So here at Bethel, we want to help you become you. I strongly support students going where they feel like they need to go, not where they feel like people are trying to pressure them to go to. So we always introduce students and let them come in for a tour to see if they want to test the waters and see if Bethel's the place for them, to see if this is where God calls you to be, just as it has many of us. So as you're scrolling down and you're on the admissions tab, it's a wonderful opportunity for you not only to apply, which your application is completely free right now, which means you don't have to pay the $30 application fee, but also down bottom, you're going to see the visit tab right here. This is the perfect opportunity for you to schedule a tour. We do tours Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. We set up visits with recruiters um, through athletics and renaissance as well if you're interested in football or band or anything. We also take in general students and talk about many scholarship opportunities that may benefit you. So you just click the visit location right here. You'll be taken to another tab and you'll be able to plan a virtual or a face-to-face -face visit. I recommend face-to-face -face because it also allows you to speak with financial aid after the tour. And it's a wonderful opportunity. A few other things with this main kind of area on the website, since we only have a short amount of time, is the academics. So if you're interested in what Bethel offers, you're going to see a little bit in all the search pieces that you receive from Bethel. However, on our website, if you scroll down, you can click on degrees and programs. And not only can you see what we offer, but also let's say that I'm interested in a bachelor's degree in art. If you click on one of our degrees, not only can you click apply and make sure that that's your interest, but also on the left-hand side, you'll see a few other kind of relevant areas. You can request information, which will send an email directly to us so that we are allowed to reach back out to you with the info that you need. And then also if you scroll down a little bit further, you're gonna see some more of the course requirements as well as some of the classes you're gonna be taking. So if you're a transfer student, or even if you thought about doing a community college first, you may want to see what classes are going to transfer. And this is the best way to do that. Also, if you are in criminal justice, for instance, and I won't pull it up just to save time. If you're interested in criminal justice, I had somebody ask me, well, I want to make sure that I can work with evidence and such. Is there anything, any kind of forensic science that I could possibly go through? And this was where we went to find that out. And we went over into um, the program core and it showed that he was actually gonna be taking two classes in forensic science. And that made it to where this is where he wanted to go because it would affect his career afterwards to have that on his resume. So that's something as a school that I think you should, or as a student, I think you should look into are the different possibilities that you could find on our website. So again, this is where you would go to find your degrees and your program. And some people may say, well, we can't be far away. I'm not sure if I want to go in person. That's perfectly fine. We have our College of Professional Studies, and you would just click College of Professional Studies. We call it CPS. 
And all of these are online courses, online degrees that you could get from Bethel University. And that's associate's degrees, bachelor's degrees, anything that you would want. And I think that's a wonderful opportunity for you if you're a stay-at-home parent, or even if you have questions uh, about, you know, earning a little bit more business management. Maybe you started and you've got three or four more classes left, but you can't take the time off work. You're a full-time worker. And this is a wonderful opportunity for you. So here at Bethel, not only are we taking care of the first-time freshmen, we're taking care of the people who maybe want to get back into it and just excel a little bit more in their future. We've got a little bit more about Bethel. We've got a little bit more about you. And we've got ways for you to contact us. But again, the easiest thing for you to do as a potential student to Bethel is just to click the apply button right here, send us your information, and applying again is free and doesn't commit you at all. Don't be afraid to apply at my school or any of these other universities about to present because it doesn't commit you, but it's the first step in finding out what we can offer you. Aubrey, did you have anything that you wanted to add just to this kind of section of Bethel? Yeah, I don't, but if you guys have any questions, we are here in the chat to answer any of them. Um, and we also have this free application right now, so I would highly suggest to take advantage of that. Thank you, Stephen. Yes, and no problem. The last thing I'm gonna leave with is if you wanted to contact any of our staff or faculty members, the easiest thing, this is how I get to it, is just to type up staff up top. It's the easiest thing to remember. And all you've got to do is just go to faculty and staff. If you're interested in football, archery, inline hockey, uh, nursing, any of that, you can type in exactly what you want, nursing. And it's actually going to give, it, give you all the contact information for everybody that you need. And so this is the best way to, for you to find out what career goals you should set, who you should contact, and find out if Bethel is a place for you. Again, my name's Steven. I'm a recruiter over here along with Ms. Aubrey Rogers, and I'd love to take care of you. So just let me know if there's anything that I can do to help you. Hey, thank you very much, Bethel. Um, up next this evening is Dyersburg State Community College. And that is where you should be able to, yeah, just overwrite that. Hey, hi everyone, can you hear me? Yes, we can. All right, not sure why my video is not coming up, but you know what? We are flexible this year, if nothing else, so we are just gonna go with it. My name is Miss Tracy Keith. I'm the Assistant Director of Recruitment at Dyersburg State. And I'm gonna start out by sharing my screen and we're gonna go through a quick PowerPoint And I seem to be having some technical difficulties, Christopher. Um, what's it saying when you try to share it? Let's see. Aha, I believe we're good now. Here we go. Yep, we can see it. All right, everyone. At Dyersburg State, we are a two-year public community college located in West Tennessee. Uh, we have three locations, our Dyersburg campus in Dyersburg, Tennessee, our Jimmy Nafee Center in, uh, Jimmy Nafee Center in Covington, Tennessee, and that's where I work. And we have the Gibson County Center that's in Trenton, Tennessee. It's located right beside Peabody High School. At Dyersburg State as a community college, we offer associate degrees and certificates. So our Associate of Science and Associate of Arts degrees, the purpose of those degrees are transfer degrees. And the majority of them are Tennessee Promise, Tennessee, <laughs> Tennessee transfer program degrees. And so those are gonna transfer seamlessly to any public institution um, within the state. So that's gonna be UT Martin, that's gonna be the University of Memphis. And they also transfer to most of the uh, private institutions as well, like Union and Christian Brothers. Uh, we also have our Associate of Applied Science degrees. Now those degrees, Applied Science, that means that those degrees are preparing you to go directly into the workforce. They're teaching you applied skills. And then our certificates, they have the same purpose. They are preparing you to enter into the workforce. 
our degrees and certificates, they cover a variety of focus areas. And um, so there's something for everyone. So maybe you're interested in business, uh, whether that be accounting or management, business administration, that's also where our ag degrees fall. Uh, we offer transfer degrees in ag business and plant and soil science. And then we have our communications, fine arts and humanities degrees, English, history, philosophy, even foreign language. Uh, education, uh, whether you're interested in teaching the younger children, maybe in pre-K, that's early childhood education, um, or kindergarten up and through high school age into secondary education, there are opportunities for you as well. Uh, then general studies. Uh, general studies is great for students who maybe they're not sure where they want to start. The general studies degrees, those are also transfer degrees that are preparing you to go to a four-year institution. Um, or maybe we don't have exactly the degree or the title of the degree that you're looking for at Dyersburg State. You can start with general studies and we can pretty much uh, cater to your needs of your transfer institution with that general studies degree. Now, health science, um, that's what a lot of people know Dyersburg State for. We have a phenomenal registered nurse program, um, EMT and paramedic program, but there are other opportunities in health science as well. Uh, maybe you've already realized, oh, I don't know if patient contact is for me, but I still want to work in doctor's offices and hospitals. We have degrees and certificates in health information management, and that's related to medical and billing coding. Um, or maybe you're wanting to do pre-dental hygiene or occupational or pre-physical therapy. Those options are there as well. And then we have social and behavioral sciences. So that would be criminal justice. Psychology is a very popular degree with us. Political science or social work. And then we cover the STEM area as well. You can be interested in engineering and start at Dyersburg State. And maybe you'll start with our biology or our chemistry degree or mathematics. So we have lots of opportunities. It's all just about learning where your interests lie. So the biggest question, why? Why should I go to Dyersburg State? Why should I start at a community college? Well, first, because of Tennessee Promise, because you need to take advantage of the opportunity that the state has given you. With Tennessee Promise, you can attend Dyersburg State for five semesters, tuition free. Um, so maybe you're starting with this because you're planning on transferring to a four-year institution, or maybe you just understand that it's really important to gain that certificate or that credential so you can enter the workforce and get the best job out there. Tennessee Promise is the answer. Right. And then at Dyersburg State, you can start earning faster. Um, I hate to say it, but in some ways, money is what makes the world go round. And that means you need to get employed after you've earned your credential. And 99% of the graduates from Dyersburg State are employed within one year of earning their credential. And the last reason, and maybe I think it's the best reason, we want you to join the Eagle family. And if you don't know, the Eagle is our mascot. At Dyersburg State, we're a small institution with small class size, which means you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention with our instructors. I mean, sometimes in the beginning, when you first started college, you need that extra support, and we're ready to give it. We also have a very student-centered atmosphere, regardless of which of our locations you're at. You'll notice the camaraderie between employees and the strong relationships that we build with our students. And last but not least, we want you to join our family, and we want you to get involved. Um, athletics, uh, we have a variety of sports teams, men's and women's basketball, uh, baseball, softball, co-ed cheerleading. Uh, we even have women's soccer at our Jimmy Nafee Center in Covington. Student organizations, we know you want a well-rounded experience and you want to be involved on campus. We have everything from student government, to honor society, psychology club, drama club and community theater if you're interested. Uh, we even have a choir. And then study abroad opportunities. Um, a lot of our students, you may not financially by yourself be able to afford to travel outside the United States, um, but we have a great study abroad program. The, uh, the program's called TENSIS. It's the Tennessee Consortium for International Studies. We support several countries every summer, and it's a three-week study abroad program, and you do earn college credit and um, while you're studying a specific course there. I did that as a student. I studied for three weeks in India. Um, and it'll change your life. And it's something that Dyersburg State can provide for you. And your first step when you're a senior in high school and when September 1st rolls around, the first step is completing your admissions application online. Um, it's free. 
we always say apply early to stay ahead. And as soon as you apply, you'll receive a confirmation email that'll guide you through your steps to becoming a Dyersburg State Eagle. And here's my contact information. Um, I'm always willing, I work with high school students from all over our service area. Feel free, reach out, send me an email. Um, there's our website, explore, see what we have to offer and go Eagles. Great, thank you very much, Dyersburg State. Uh, moving on to our third presenter for the evening. We have the University of Tennessee at Martin. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Barrett Pelote, and I'm an admissions counselor at the University of Tennessee at Martin. I'm also a graduate from UTM. I graduated in 2019 with a business management degree. I wish that we could meet in person, but you know, under the circumstances, this is the best we can do for now. Um, so with that, we will begin. So in, in UT Martin is located in Northwest Tennessee in Martin, Tennessee. We are a smaller campus of just over 7,000 students, but with an average class size of about 23. Uh, we believe on our campus has a big advantage because it is a university, it is a four year public school, uh, but with an average class size of 23, it allows the students and the professors to really get to know one another on a personal level. Um, it's going to be a normal classroom, what you're used to maybe in high school with you're going to walk into a classroom with desks, a whiteboard and a teacher um, just at the college level. Also, we pride ourselves on having a very affordable uh, tuition on our campus. We're actually the most affordable four year public school in the state of Tennessee. Um, we take a lot of pride in not only giving students a great education at the UT system from an accredited university, but also at an affordable level. So some quick facts about UT Martin. Um, so we are number one in nursing program in the state of Tennessee, according to registersnursing.org. And that is for um, passing rate for the NCLEX exam. We're also division one in the NCAA for athletics and athletics range from regular sports that you would normally see like baseball, football, softball, soccer, volleyball, to rodeo, to equestrian, to rifle teams. Um, so a wide range of athletic events to go to as a college student. Um, also rated number one in student satisfaction among Tennessee students. Also have 150 plus student organizations and those can range from um, fraternities and sororities to honor society programs, to foreign language clubs, uh, to many different opportunities for students to get involved on our campus. That is something that we really push for. Uh, also have 15 travel study programs per year and then 93% of our students are employed after they graduate. So looking at the academics at UT Martin, like I said, we are the University of Tennessee at Martin. So within the university, we have five different academic colleges and they are agriculture and applied sciences, business and global affairs, education, health and behavioral sciences, engineering and natural sciences, and humanities and fine arts. And within those academic colleges, we have over a hundred fields of study or majors for students to go into, students or opportunities for minors or double majors, depending on what the student is interested in. Uh, it's very easy to figure out what is offered on our website, just easily to search what you want and you should be able to find not only contact information for specific departments, but exactly the coursework of what you will go through as a student. Looking at our admission requirements. So normal admission requirements for us is a 19 ACT and a 3.0 GPA or a 21 ACT and a 2.7. Um, but obviously higher scores, higher ACT scores, higher GPA will offer you scholarship opportunities. We also super score the ACT, meaning that um, if you take the ACT multiple times, we will take the highest score from every test of every category that you've taken and make a new score. Most of the time it goes up one to two points. So for example, if you made a 17 on reading the first time and made a 21 on reading the next time you took it, we'll take that 21 as well as the highest score from every other test. Um, also for the fall 2021 for seniors, for students that are coming in the fall, we are test flexible, meaning that we are admitting students with just a 3.0 GPA. Um, so you do not need your ACT score, but for scholarship purposes, you will. But for just basic admission, you just need a 3.0. And then there is a $30 application fee, but can be waived with a NACAC fee waiver. So looking at our scholarships, and this is one of my favorite things to show students, mainly because just by looking at the chart, you can tell exactly by how much money that we are going to give you. So for example, if you have a 375 and a 24, you know right off the bat just by looking at it, um, you're going to get offered $1,000 per year in the excellence um, scholarship category, which I think is really cool. But not only does it tell you 
where you're at, but it also can tell you what you want to do if you want to get more money. And now that you know that we super score the ACT, say that you are on the line between scholarships and you retake the ACT, knowing that we super score it, your next test might be able to get you over the line to get you the next scholarship level. And we will award scholarships all the way up um, as long as students keep sending us scores throughout the summer, even we'll still award scholarships. And these are not scholarships you have to apply for. We would straight offer them um, just by you sending us your scores. So looking at housing, we have a two-year live-on requirement, resident hall style and apartment style options. Um, so we do have self-selection for you to be able to choose where you want to live. And then also a living learning community, which houses education, criminal justice, engineering, music, professional health, and agriculture. Uh, we have freshman priority dorms as well as upperclassmen priority dorms if we have any transfers on here for many different types of students to live throughout our campus. Uh, so that pretty much does the basic facts for UT Martin. My name is Barrett Below. I am the East Tennessee um, and out-of-state admissions counselor. Uh, so if you have any questions for me, please let me know. There's my contact information. You need to either email me, call me, or you can send me a text to go straight to my cell phone, and I will do my best to help you out. Thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you very much, UT Martin. Uh, before I move into the second half of our presentations this evening, just a reminder to all of our attendees, uh, you're welcome to ask questions to any of the panelists at any time utilizing the Q&A feature. But up next this evening is Christian Brothers University. Hey everyone, thanks for having me this evening. I'm gonna share my screen. All right, so my name is Rachel. I'm an admissions counselor here at Christian Brothers University. I'm glad you all got to join us this evening and I'd love to tell you a little bit about our school. So Christian Brothers University is a smaller school. We were founded as a Catholic school. Um, we were founded as an all boys Catholic school, but that is not a requirement anymore. Um, you can kind of see a of our stats. Um, even though we were an all boys school, we are definitely um, very evenly split male and female now. And though we were founded Catholic, um, you're not required to be a Catholic student to join our community. Um, we currently have about 25% Catholic students. So any faith um, group is allowed or very much welcomed on campus. Um, and our student enrollment typically is between 1,700 and 2,000 students per year. Um, so again, you get a nice small class size that's gonna be really helpful for those upper level classes. So the smaller class sizes are something that's really beneficial, um, especially if you are in a science or engineering class, um, if you're in an upper level class, if you want to do research, all of those situations are going to make it really beneficial for you if you do not have to compete with um, a million students in your class to get your professor's attention or get to know them. So our average class size before um, we went virtual, of course, was 16. Um, some of our classes can be bigger, but on average, that's what you're looking at. We are in a, currently in a virtual and hybrid mode. So we are taking some classes virtually, some classes on campus. Um, so you don't have to be completely on screen once you're at college with us. All right. um, one thing that's important when you're looking at colleges is the success rate of their students. So we want to make sure our students are either employed or in a graduate program within six months of graduating. Um, that number is always above 90% for us, but for the class of 2019, um, that percentage was 95% of our students. So that just means that once you graduate from CBU, you are almost guaranteed to have success um, to find a job or to get into that graduate program that you're hoping to get into. And you can kind of see the breakdown here of all the different programs. Um, some people, you know, are nervous and think, oh, only business majors are going to get jobs. But you can see that students from all of our programs do get to graduate and do go on to do really successful things. So a big reason that our students do so well after they graduate is how well they're prepared while they're in school. Um, we definitely don't want to just throw you into class and expect you to do well in our rigorous academic programs. Um, we want to make sure we have a lot of people there to support you and make sure that you're going to do really well and graduate and get those internships and get that outstanding um, degree. So some of the things we have to support students, of course, um, our writing center, we have all of our English majors hang out and they can kind of edit your papers and make sure you're going to excel when you turn them in. And we have peer tutoring in all different departments. We have language tutors, math tutors. And one of the most important on campus is our career center. 
we have a fantastic staff that's going to make sure you can get a volunteer placement or an internship or a job um, and get all that lined up before you graduate. Um, some of our majors require students to have an internship. In that case, career services will help you find something that's a really good match for your skills and what you're interested in. Um, by the time they graduate, usually 70% of our students have done an internship. Um, many of those are paid and a lot of those can turn directly into jobs. And of course, going to class isn't the only important thing in college, even though it is very important. Um, so we have quite a few things going on on campus that are going to broaden your horizons, but also help you meet people and get more involved with the things that you do love. So we do have honors and professional societies on campus. Um, these are some of the more popular ones listed on the screen, but we have many more. Um, honor societies and professional societies are both fantastic ways to get more involved with your major. Um, we'll have special faculty advisors. There'll be special competitions and conferences you can go to. We'll have um, outside professionals coming speak to the students. So those are all fantastic. Definitely join one. And then of course, plenty of special clubs and student organizations that are there just for you to meet new people and expand your horizons. Um, we do have a pretty generous scholarship package and I will do say so myself. So our application is still open and it's still free. Um, and this, I know it's a lot of numbers, but basically everyone is guaranteed some sort of academic scholarship. Um, these are easy to obtain. Um, you don't have to apply for them separately. We will just look at the grades that you submit and assign you a scholarship accordingly. Um, we are also, as many schools are, ACT optional. Um, so that means that you can be selected or admitted with only your GPA, but you are eligible for more scholarships if you do submit your ACT. And some of our programs like engineering, we do need to see a math score. All right, so as I mentioned, um, our application is open and it is free. Um, we are also on the common application. Um, the only thing we really, really need from you all is your GPA. Um, we need that officially to come from your high school um, and then your ACT score is optional for most um, degree programs. All right, so um, I will be hanging out in the chat as long as well with everyone else. So if you do have any questions about CBU, you are welcome to message me. Um, you're also welcome to just email us if you have any questions later. Um, you can see the email address for our admissions office down at the bottom. Um, again, my name is Rachel and I'd love to talk to you all about CBU. So feel free to message me with any questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, CBU. Uh, moving on to our next presenter this evening, we have the University of Memphis. Hey everyone, um, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen. I've got a little presentation. Um, I will say, I apologize if you hear some barking in the background. My dog likes to think that um, he's part of the presentation. So if you hear that, I, I do apologize. Um, but again, my name is Jordan Scott. And I'm gonna to talk to you about the University of Memphis. Um, as far as my position goes, I am a regional admissions counselor um, and I recruit in the Middle Tennessee area. So if you're a Middle Tennessee student, um, just know I'm your admissions counselor and I'd be happy to help you. Um, if you're not a Middle Tennessee student, that's um, that's totally fine. We have plenty of staff members that are happy to help and I'm happy to help as well if um, maybe you are um, trying to reach out to someone. So um, just a little bit about the University of Memphis community. Um, we have about 22,000 students enrolled. So that is a large number. So community might sound a little weird in that regard with such a large number of student um, students on campus. Um, but I still like to think that we are a close-knit community. So um, there are plenty of opportunities for you at the University of Memphis, and they, we have a diverse student population, as you can see in the numbers. Um, but you will kind of experience that on your own just by walking on campus. There are friendly faces um, no matter where you're going. I remember one of my first times on campus, I knew I think two people and there were a lot of people that just waved and asked how I was doing and I had no idea who they were. So um, it was very welcoming and inviting. So, um, you know, that's something that I think is valuable and things that students should look for in an institution. Um, but we also have a 15 to 1 student to faculty ratio. With, and again, with a large campus, um, you know, that is a small number, I like to think. And so if you need help from a professor or, um, you know, just someone on campus, um, just know that there are plenty of people that are happy to be a resource for you and answer any questions that you have. And we are located in Memphis, Tennessee, as I mentioned. That is where our main campus is located. And we do have a few satellite campuses in the surrounding area, but we also have a second campus that is much smaller, um, but also awesome, um, located in Jackson, Tennessee, and it is the UM Lambeth campus. 
Of course, um, your major is super important when thinking about what kind of school you want to go to. We do have over 55 different majors and 250 areas of study. So just know we have a lot of opportunities for you. And the great thing about our programs is that you can kind of mix and match. You know, maybe you want to major in one thing, but minor in something else. Um, you have that opportunity. A couple of majors that we are known for, um, engineering is first on the list, and it is one that we are known for, especially our bio, biomedical engineering program. Um, there is a hub located nearby Memphis that a lot of our students do get some um, internships with and things like that, and just experience in that regard. Um, also, I always point out nursing. Um, that is on our both our main campus and our Lambeth campus, so you can enter the program at either Either campus is the exact same program, just kind of depends on what um, kind of style you're looking for. The nursing students in Memphis, um, they do their rotations at multiple different hospitals versus in Jackson, Tennessee at the Lambeth campus, they do it at just one hospital. Um, but of course we have plenty of others, um, but those are just a couple. Student life is a huge aspect of your college life. Of course, class is super important. Um, but you do want to get involved. That's my number one piece of advice to students is join just one organization your freshman year. Um, we have over 275, or 75, so that shouldn't be too hard. Um, this is everything from your fraternities and sororities, your honor societies, religious organizations, community service. Um, maybe you are a student that really likes athletics and you, you're not really sure um, you know, who to go with. Maybe you haven't made any friends yet on campus. We even have a club of students that just go to different athletic events together. So, and that kind of ties into the next, the next part of this, our Tiger Athletics. We are a D1 school in the AAC. Um, of course, we are really well known for our men's basketball team um, and even our football team, but we do have a variety of other sports if you are interested um, in playing or watching. Um, you do get to attend these home games for free with your student ID card, so take advantage of that benefit. Um, also, internships are definitely an important aspect of college life. Um, not all degrees require one, but I highly encourage you to do one anyways. It's a great way for you to find out if, um, you know, the program you're, you're in at the moment is really what you want to um, pursue for the rest of your life, or at least for the next, you know, 10, 15 years. Um, but definitely recommend that we have internship fairs throughout the semesters um, to kind of help place you in those. Also our honors college, we do have the largest honors college in the state of Tennessee. There are different scholarship opportunities. So if that's something you're interested in, maybe you're in honors classes now and you wanna continue that in college, I highly suggest that you look into that. And then of course there are intramural and club sports. These are for um, kind of like my kind of people, you know, we're not super athletic, but we like to have fun. Um, you can join these. They're just ways for you to still stay active in college, but not play at the collegiate level. Um, and then of course, study abroad, like many of the other institutions have said, um, study abroad is a very popular um, thing right now. Well, right now it's a little different, but um, in, in the normal um, times, but we have study abroad programs that go to over 55 different countries. Um, so a lot of opportunities there. A lot of our students receive scholarship money for these study abroad trips. And the only thing they have to pay out of pocket is their actual plane ticket there and back. So definitely look into this as well. Cost of attendance, um, another big point to think about when considering different colleges, of course, is, you know, what's it gonna cost you? So um, for in-state students, you're looking at right under 10,000 for the academic school year, and that's just your tuition and fees. Um, not including your housing and meal plan. Um, but just remember that with the FAFSA, as well as over 700 different scholarship opportunities, it's very possible that your tuition could be covered at the University of Memphis. Next, I just encourage you to connect with us. We are on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And then of course, there is our contact information if you need it. And again, I'm happy to hang out, answer any questions in the chat that you might have, but thank you again for joining us tonight. Thank you very much, University of Memphis. Now we're going to move on to our final presenter for the evening, and Mississippi College. All right, let me get my screen shared with everyone. All right, hey guys, my name is Carrie Parrish. I am the regional recruiter uh, for Mississippi College. I recruit the entire state of Tennessee and I live here in Memphis. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So Mississippi College is a Christian university located in Clinton, Mississippi, which is right outside of the capital, which is Jackson, Mississippi. Oops. 
MC was uh, founded in 1826, which makes it one of the oldest universities in the state of Mississippi. And since then, we have proud, like, prided ourselves on staying true to our vision statement, which is Mississippi College seeks to be recognized as a uni university known for academic excellence and the commitment to the cause of Christ. Uh, that mission statement we um, pride ourselves on and we, we hold real true to because it's very important to us. Um, but in addition to that, as students, you're looking into what MC has to offer you. So our campus has about uh, 5,200 students that go to it. We have 84 areas of undergraduate study, over 60 graduate programs, and one of the only law schools in the state of Mississippi, in addition to the only physician assistant school in the state. Our student to teacher ratio is about 16 to one, which uh, gives the ability to be able to be known by your professors, have your professors understand your learning capabilities and your style of learning and get to have one-on-one -on -one relationships with them to pursue the career that you're desiring. And as you can see on the screen, we have lots of different schools of study. We have business, education, humanities and social sciences, Christian studies and the arts, science and mathematics, and nursing. And under each one of those schools, we have lots of different options that make up the different undergraduate programs that we have. Now, the actual Mississippi College campus, it sits on 320 acres of gorgeous green space, uh, which is rowed by live oak trees and beautiful brick buildings. And it's one of the most beautiful campuses that they have in Mississippi. In addition to that, what you're looking for when you're going to college is your college experience. What is that gonna look like? So MC is home to over 70 organizations. And we also have our athletics department, which is we have 18 NCAA division two sports, which are in the Gulf South Conference. Anything from men's football, women's softball, softball, sorry, men's baseball, soccer, you name it, we most likely have it and you're able to compete. In addition to that, we have a hundred clubs in over 100 clubs and organizations that you can get involved in, in addition to our intramural sports and our five campus ministries. As you can see on the screen, that's a lot of the options, the ways you can serve, you can get involved, you can perform. Anything that you were able to be involved in in high school, you, there's many more ways to expound upon that when you come to Mississippi College for your college career. We like to think that at Mississippi College, you get to join in to a tight-knit community that's already existing, all while pursuing your calling and earning a degree. So in addition to that, when taking all those things into consideration, a lot of times you have to take into consider, consideration what it's going to cost, what that's going to look like. So in general, Mississippi College costs less than 15000 less than the average private university. Now, that's just baseline starting off with no scholarship. That's how much it will cost less than your average pr private university. Now, our scholarship matrix starts off if you have an ACT score of 18 or higher, automatically you'll um, be eligible for our baseline scholarship, which is $8,500 a year. And that's eligible just through your 18 on an ACT score or a GPA. Now, like many other colleges have mentioned right now, it's test optional um, for us as well, meaning that because of COVID, because of the craziness of the way that testing has been this year, we will accept you just purely on your ACT score. And you'll just have to fill out a form and there's that option. In addition to that, there is the application process. So our application is free, it's online, it costs nothing to take, so it's worth your while to go ahead and apply. You start by applying and you set steps two and three, you send us your ACT scores and your transcript, your immunization records, and then you sign up for housing. And then you are Choctaw bound on your way to MC. If you go to mc.edu slash apply, that's where our application sits and you can open it up, fill it out and send it in. And then also we would love for you to get the chance to visit campus. I really feel like if you visit campus, you fall in love. And so we would love for you to have the opportunity to visit campus. Now at MC, we really believe that our students should receive a quality education while deepening their faith, fostering a lasting community and building a foundation for a bright future. And that's super important to us. I graduated recently and I definitely believe that that's the mission statement that MC stands behind. Now I live here in the Memphis area, so I'll stay in the chat for a little while. If you ever wanna grab coffee or lunch and get to hear more about MC, I would love to treat you to lunch or coffee and tell you all about it. And looking forward to seeing you possibly via Choctaw. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much, Mississippi College. 
And thank you to all of our presenters this evening. We do have about five minutes remaining. So while we wait to see if any of our attendees have any additional questions, um, could I ask you all to turn on your webcams and we'll do just a quick round robin. Uh, you could ask, answer perhaps one of the following two questions, either what's your favorite event or tradition on campus or uh, what's one piece of advice you have for someone going through the college search project process? And we'll go in the same order. So why don't we start with uh, Bethel University? You're on mute. I am muted. I think you should be able to hear me now. Um, can you repeat that second question one more time? I'm sorry, my audio cut out. Sure. Um, what's one piece of advice you have for someone going through the college search process? So one of my pieces of advice that I'd like to give is, um, again, I love Bethel. I would love for you to come to Bethel. My advice for you is to look into many schools, not just Bethel or not just any other ones that, you know, maybe your parents went to. Uh, find one that really feels like it's where you need to be. Uh, God isn't telling you to listen to me, to follow me. He's telling you to follow you where, where you feel like you should be, where your home is. Um, so I don't want you to feel like you're pressured. I don't want you to feel like it's about numbers. I want you to feel like when you feel it in your heart and in your brain and when you visit that college and, and that's where you want to live at, that's where you want yourself to live at, um, just to give it a shot. Uh, look at everybody. So just close it off. Great. Thank you. Uh, Dyersburg State? All right, so the first question was about our traditions, correct? I'd have to say at Dyersburg State, I'm not sure if you want to call it a tradition, but what we're really known for, um, we're really known for being a family environment. We are very student-centered. Um, we know who our students are um, and we're invested in you and not just your academic progress, not your academic excellence. It doesn't stop there. We want you to become a well-rounded individual who can give back to your community. Um, and we're, we're just there to help you through the process. We know for a lot of you, it's your first time, of course, coming to college, but it's it may be the, you know, the first person in your family to even go. Um, so we're here to help you, to answer your questions and provide us support along the way. Um, we're in it with you. We want to see you be successful. Um, and I know that that's what my student experience at Dyersburg State, that's what it was for me. Um, support all along the way. We say in our department, we support you from application to graduation. Uh, and I know as a graduate of Dyersburg State that that's very true. Um, and then the advice that I give. Um, I know that starting the college search experience, that this process can be very overwhelming. Um, and ask questions. I know I make the mistake at times of speaking in acronyms. Um, and I think that we do that sometimes because we live in the enrollment services and admissions world. Um, and we lose you from the very beginning. Ask us to stop. Um, ask questions. Um, really, the only questions that are silly are the ones that you really do not ask because we're here to serve you. Um, so just ask, seek out that information, explore, really jump on our websites, take a look, email us. Um, there is someone and here we all are at each institution. It is our job to help you. So reach out to us. Great. Thank you. Uh, UT Martin. I couldn't have said it better than the other two counselors, uh, but I guess I'll say a tradition that we have on our campus is football homecoming. Um, it's a really fun event. It's something that a big, pretty much a big party in our quad um, where we have classes. Um, each organization will set up a tent. There's a bunch of free food. There's a band. The football players will come through, and then our marching band will play. And then after we all hang out, party, and eat, we go to the football stadium and um, watch, watch the Skyhawks play football. And that's, that's a really big, fun tradition that we have on our campus. Great, thank you. Uh, CBU? The one tradition I love is just our freshman welcome the whole month. Um, I just love how exciting the campus is. They do set up just on our quad or something new every day for the first week that our new freshmen are on campus. So there'll be an organization fair or a peer mentoring fair or just snacks. Um, 
there's just so much food on the quad. So that week is really, really fun um, just to get to know people and get used to campus and just feel that back to school excitement. Great, right, thank you. Uh, University of Memphis. One of my favorite traditions is our frosh camp experience. It's extended orientation and it's for about um, three nights, three and a half days um, in Middle Tennessee. And it's a way for you to get to know students and um, gain friends before the fall semester even begins. So um, everyone says that it's an inside joke that you know, um, but only the people that went to frosh camp know it. So um, it's just a really unique experience that I would encourage um, incoming freshmen to do. Great, thank you. And Mississippi College. I would have to say in this spring, we do a competition called Derby Week where all the organizations on campus compete each other in different ways of like games and comp like skit competitions. And it's really cool because um, the campus comes together in a lot of different ways of friendly competition. And it's one of my favorite things that I was involved in as a student. Great, thank you, Mississippi. And thank you to all of our presenters this evening. And thank you to all of our attendees for joining us. Uh, before we end this session, just a few quick housekeeping items. Uh, when you close this window, you will receive a very quick four question survey that we ask that you take a minute to complete. And again, just a reminder to please feel free to sign up for more sessions at the same website where you signed up for this evening session. And about one week from today, a recording of this session will also be available on that same website. But thank you again to everybody. Have a great night and good luck in your college search.